And how long was it after you took that decision that you first came in contact with Freud? Oh, you know, that was at the end of my studies, and, and then it took quite a while until I met Freud. You see, I finished my studies in 1900, and I met Freud uh, only very much later by, uh, I read, uh, well, I, in 1900, I already read uh, his three interpretation and the prior Freud studies uh, about uh, hysteria, but that was merely literary, you know. And then in 1907, I became acquainted with him personally. Will you tell me how that happened? Did you go to Vienna? Oh, well, Vienna? I'd written a book about the psychology of uh, de dementia precognition called Schizophrenia then. Uh, and uh, I sent him that book, and thus became acquainted. I went, I went to Vienna for a fortnight then, and then we had a very uh, uh, long and penetrating conversations, and uh, that settled it. And this long and penetrating conversation was followed by personal friendship? Oh, yes. It soon developed into a personal friendship. And what sort of man was Freud? Well, he was a complicated nature, you know. He, he, I liked him very much, and, but I soon discovered that when he had thought something, then it was settled, while I was doubting all along the line. And uh, it, it was impossible to discuss something really a form. You know, he had no uh, philosophical education, Particularly, you see, I was studying Kant, and uh, I was steeped in it, and, uh, and that was far from Freud. So, uh, from the very beginning, there was a discrepancy. Did you, in fact, grow apart later, partly because of a difference in temperamental approach to experiment and proof and so on? Well, of course, there is always a temperamental difference. Um, and uh, his approach was uh, naturally different from mine because his personality was different from mine. That led me in, into my later investigation of psychological types. There are definite attitudes. Uh, some people are doing it in this way and other people are doing it in the other typical way. And there were such differences between myself and Freud, too. Do you consider that Freud's standard of proof and experimentation was less high than your own? Well, I... Uh, you see, that is uh, an evaluation uh, I'm not competent of. Uh, uh, I'm not my own history or my uh, historiographer. I... <laughs> In, with reference to certain results, uh, I think uh, my method has uh, its merits. Tell me, did Freud himself ever analyze you? Uh, yeah, oh, yes. I had, uh, submitted quite a lot of my dreams to him. And, and so did he. And he to you, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Um, do you remember now, at this distance of time, what were the significant features of Freud's dreams that you noted at the time? Well, that is rather indiscreet to ask. You know, I have, there is such a thing as a professional secret. He's been dead these uh, many years. Uh, I, yeah, yes, but uh, uh, these uh, regards last longer than life. Uh, <laughs> I prefer not to talk about it. Well, may I ask you something else then, which perhaps is also indiscreet. Is it true that you have a very large number of letters which you exchanged with Freud, which are still unpublished? Yes. When are they going to be published? Well, uh, not uh, during my lifetime. You ha would have no objection to them being published after your life? Oh, no, not at all. Because they are probably of great historical importance. I don't think so. Then it, wh why have you not published them so far? Because they were not important to me I enough. I see no particular importance in them. They are concerned with personal matters? Well, partially. 
but I wouldn't care to, to, to publish them. Well, now, can we move on to the time when you did eventually uh, part company with Freud? Uh, it was partly, I think, with the publication of your book, The Psychology of the Unconscious, is that correct? That is, that is, was the real cause. Well, now, before you... Oh, I mean the, the, the final cause, because it had a long preparation. You know, from the beginning, I had a reservatio mentalis. I couldn't uh, agree with uh, quite a number of his uh, ideas. Which ones in particular? Well, uh, chiefly his purely personal approach and his disregard of uh, the historical conditions of man. You see, we depend largely upon our history. Uh, we are shaped through education, through the influence of the parents, which are by no means always personal. They were prejudiced or they were influenced by historical ideas or what I call dominance. And, uh, and that is uh, a most decisive factor in psychology. And we are not of today or of yesterday. We are of an immense age. Was it not partly your observation, your clinical observation, of psychotic cases which led you to differ from Freud on this? It was partially my experience with, with uh, schizophrenic patients that uh, led me uh, to the idea of certain general historical conditions.